Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Curtis. Today we're going to be working with symmetrical butterflies. I'm really excited about this lesson. Now, symmetrical means that the object is the same on both sides. So if I cut this butterfly right in half, you kind of see my dotted line, it would be exactly the same on both sides. When we draw using symmetry, we want to make sure that whatever we do to one side, you do the exact same thing to the other side. So I'm going to show you today how to draw using symmetry. So you can get this paper either by printing it out from Canvas, or you can just draw the shape of the butterfly on your paper if you want to. The wings on this butterfly are already symmetrical. If I cut him in half, he's exactly the same on both sides. So as we start to add our designs and our patterns, we want to make sure that it stays symmetrical. So whatever I do to one side, I'm going to make sure to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Here we go. I'm going to start out by creating a circle in the top of my butterfly's wing. So I'm going to put a circle here. Now, once I put that circle here, my butterfly is not symmetrical anymore. Because if I were to cut him in half right now, the two halves would be different. So in order to keep him symmetrical, I'm going to jump from this side all the way to the other side and put that circle on the other side to keep him symmetrical. So when we draw using symmetry, we're making sure to always jump from one side to the other, making sure we keep it symmetrical. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a curve around that circle. And then I'm gonna jump to the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. Now, it can get kind of tricky when you're doing symmetry, depending on where you're working in your object. If I were to put a circle right here, I would need to look and see, it's on the inside of the wing next to his body. So in order to do this on the other side, I'm gonna jump over to the other side of his body, right on that inside corner of his wing to do the same thing, keeping it symmetrical. All right, let's do some long lines. I'm gonna take a line from here, starting on this curve I made and coming in towards his body. To do that on the other side, I'm gonna jump out to the end of the wing here. I'm gonna go from that center piece in towards his body. And that's gonna keep it symmetrical. I'm gonna add one, two stripes on this one and one, two stripes on this one. I can't have more stripes on the left than I do on the right, because then it won't be symmetrical. So I've got to make sure whatever I do on the left, I can do the exact same thing on the right. Okay, let's keep going. I think I want to make a line that goes from this little corner on this wing or point on this wing in towards the body. So I'm going to jump over to the other side. I'm going to go to that little corner or point and make a line coming in towards the center. All right, I am gonna make some fun shapes in here. I think I'm gonna make kind of an eyeball shape. So it's gonna be kind of like a football here. Butterflies have a natural defense against predators on their wings. The images and the pictures that they have on their wings actually help protect them from predators. It makes them look like big animals or scary animals. So I'm gonna put kind of an eyeball shape in there. And then I'll jump over to the other side and I'll do the exact same thing. And I can turn my paper just a little bit and draw. There's my eyeball shape. Now it's still symmetrical. And I'm going to keep working my way down my butterfly. I think on this side, I'm going to add a border that kind of follows the shape of my butterfly. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to go out here and make that border. Looks pretty good. Put a circle here. So I'm going to jump over here and put a circle here. Okay. What next? I'm going to just go a circle and then one on this side. And you know what? I'm going to do that again. And again on this side. And then we've got some stripes. One, two, three on this side. And one, 
15, 30 on this side. So for making strikes, make sure you count them so you know how many you have. All right, I think my last thing I'm gonna do is add a few little curved lines around the edge. Two, three, so three on that side. One, two, three on this side. I'm going to do some more on the other side. One, two, one, two. I think it needs something else on that eye. Let's actually make that center of the eyeball. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, I did work in symmetry, so I drew on one side and then the other. I made sure if I did stripes that I counted, so I got the same amount of stripes on the opposite side. Now, the last part of my butterfly is actually the center of his body and his antenna. So I wanna make sure that the two antennas match. So whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So I'm just gonna keep this pretty simple. I'm gonna put a little circle in here and jump over and do the same thing on that side. And then I'm gonna do some stripes going down. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four on that side. And for his body, I have to make sure that it's the same if I break it in half. So I'm just gonna do some kind of V-shaped lines. All right, friend, that is my symmetrical butterfly drawn. Now, we're gonna meet back here and we'll talk about adding color to it because when we add our color, we wanna make sure it's also symmetrical. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later, bye.